So there, there's a couple of key differentiators about our self-healing platform. One is the fact that we come to the table with a standard set of scheduled maintenance items, things that we're going to be monitored for, as well as automations that we can turn on day one. Part of the challenge that we've seen, and we've been in this automation space certainly for a long time, like any of our competitors, uh, but a lot of the tools and capabilities that are out there depend on scripts to run. So it's really kind of going through an entire development cycle where you're building requirements, you're going through coding, QA, and sign off. It was self-heal, it's just a matter of us going into the tool itself or the various consoles and then really just configuring what we wanted to do. That's one of the big differentiators. The other one is, you know, being able to run automations is huge, right? But more importantly is the different things that we can do with that data. And so because we understand everything that's running on the endpoint, we can do things like create application profiles. So I think it's fair to say that every one of our customers has challenges with the onboarding process. And really, again, kind of going back to user experience, we've talked to customers who have had associates come in and, and really left the organization very shortly thereafter because they didn't appreciate or went the type of device that they had. It took them three weeks or even three months in order to really be up and running. And that's not a positive user experience. And I really think in today's job market, it's critical that we enable our customers to provide that to the end users. And self-heal and the different ways that we can integrate and use this data is our mechanism in order to get there. If I were to give a, a third differentiator, it's really about being able to monitor and do things with what we call headless or autonomous devices. So we've got self-healing integrated into our lockers over here. How do we tie it into the digital displays or, or conference room PCs so that, again, it's about an employee experience and engagement. And you know, I think on average, it's seven and a half minutes it takes for a video conference to get up and running. How do we really re reduce that down and leverage the self-heal information to help us do that? Learn more about self-healing at 800-350-8430.